Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome build. Last episode, we did the panel wash for the grill and the exhaust port on the rear bumpers, and also the hubcaps for the model. In this episode, or this video, I'm acting like this is a TV series or something. We are going to cut our tires off the tree, move them together, and we'll see how long it goes, but we'll probably touch up around the... Well, no, we probably won't because we're going to want the glue to settle really good before we do touch up painting. But anyways, we're going to cut these off the tree and get them glued together. This is a front wheel, another front wheel, and let's do the back wheels for it, back of the wheel, and I'm leaving a little bit so that I can just sand them so slightly, that way we don't dig into the tires. This is the back. Put the backs on the right so I don't mess that up. Another back. There's the front. another front. Alright, we're done with that sprue too. View over there for now. Okay, so what we need to do is see if we got any... Do we have any pins? It doesn't look like it. We gotta make sure we got the front, which has got the white wall area for the tires, right? I'm not sending false signals to people, am I? No, because these are wide whites. That's a line there and a line there to... No, they're thin wool. Because the decals... There's our white walls for our tires and then our... For our hubcaps we got the Cadillac emblem. That's what the decal sheet looks like. We even got the side emblems. For the sides of the fenders. Which will be nice. So, I'm going to make sure that I'm doing this right. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in that because I'm on white, wide white walls. They aren't very wide. Well, I guess for the, uh, the scale, that's... I think that's, that loop is just the, uh, so you center the ring, the wide wall, wide white wall um, in the right spot. So it doesn't look like we have any... Well, we got little little slots right there to keep everything in line. Oh yeah, it does to keep it. Didn't see that before. Let's take our knife and we need to scrape some of that paint away. It kind of got messy, didn't we? I'm going to do it over my garbage can here. Try to keep my table. I think everybody who's made a model knows what uh, scraping some excess paint off so that you can glue your parts together looks like. So we got those two right there. We'll we'll join up. Let's get this back on the. Now well, let's get this done. And that one looks pretty good. In the front for you. Looks real good too. Maybe I just got the one side a little sloppy. Oh, this one. That ain't gonna cut it. Want a good bond. All right. 
that's a front. And then we need a rear for it. That looks pretty good. So no, we got them switched around here. Front rear, front rear. There we go. Forgot how I was going to do things. I'm just trying to get some of this excess paint off so that the glue bond is better. I'm going to have to touch up around where the seams are anyway because it's going to have glue probably because I'm just going to hold them together and hit them with the thin set. So I'm going to shake this off into the trash too. And then we'll get our parts here. Not to make this a 20 minute video on tires like I did the other one <laughs> with the chrome so there's our parts made sure we're back on camera and we'll get our thin set out find a front and a back put them together like so and I'm just gonna hit the glue in the seam and we'll take the sanding a little sanding stick here and get the extra burr off from cutting it off the tree. Yeah, let's line that up. Look at that. That'll do good. That, that's, I like that. So let's uh, get some glue on this thing. Make sure everything's lined up and we'll go ahead and just go right up the seam here. to have a towel handy because I don't like I don't want to get my whole bottle of blue painted inside so I like to wipe off the brush with any paint that one. Let's get a front and a back. So we can't match up that seam again. We get a, oh, that one clicked in together pretty good. A little twist there, have that there. Squish them together. Rotate. Around to the side. This one go. I didn't hold you very long. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. And we're gonna move top side up there, just like that. And we'll do it again. Let's find our seams this way so we don't gotta twist them again. That last one kind of set into place and it's perfect. that and 
Totally missed it. Let's not get crazy now. There we go. Nice bias ply tire tread there. Like it would have had when it came out new. And I know at the beginning I thought I was going to make like a drive-in scene and put this car as part of that, but I was thinking about it. And uh, I think it would be really cool since this is one of those cars that... Um, I wish I owned, but they're like six-figure cars. You ain't gonna touch them. One in good shape for under a hundred thousand. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to make a diorama of my the front of my garage and my driveway, and be like I own it in one twenty-fifth scale. I thought that'd be a cool diorama like that. And there we have it. The tires are glued together. I'll let that one sit for a little bit. And I'm actually going to take it and go all the way around the tire. Because a little bit of the paint kind of wrinkled a little bit because you know, glue. And just to get rid of any seam that we might have that's raised. Just gonna lightly go through it. Like that. We're gonna take a little paint off, but that's alright. If I would to go back through it, I probably would have Nah, I would have painted the tires like I did. So otherwise I would have had to come up with something to hold them. In the place while I painted them. And I'm not even really putting any pressure on this. I don't want any flat spots. But it goes back to the same thing too. If I'm going to put this car in a diorama do I want to just glue the axles to the suspension so they can't roll? Because I'm going to end up gluing the car down probably with some PVA glue to the driveway of the diorama. So I don't know, kind of doing things as I go here. funny because it sounds like I'm saying it harder than I really am. But I probably will put those. You probably won't see them after I touch up the paint, but that's probably going to be my glue point. Two more. I'm really making this a 20 minute tire video, aren't I? That's one thing though, we're, we're modeling in real time. One 
more. Yeah, but I thought that was cool. I was thinking of that the other day. I was like, oh, I really want one of these. Hey. Look at the diorama of it sitting in my driveway. and sorry there you get a face shot well shot of my face I guess <laughs> that didn't sound good so what happens when you're unscripted you say some weird stuff And with this kind of deal here, it's not like I could go back and reshoot it because I've already done, I've already glued the parts together. <laughs> There's no, no reshooting that. Anyways, we'll call that a video. That's our tires together. We've got our chrome pieces all washed. Um, I decided I'm going with the Alclad for this side trim. I think it'd be a lot easier than bare metal foiling it. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to thank everybody for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.